So tell me, what was your first impression when you saw this, the world's first OEM supercharged motorcycle? Like, what was your impression? Uh, I mean, it's, you walk up to it, it looks like it's going 100 miles an hour just sitting there in the parking lot. And that's my favorite part about it. The lines, everything just, it looks fast. It looks, it looks like a supercharged bike should look. Yeah, and it's really unique. Like, it has that single headlight. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, that's not very common, and they did a very good job, I think, of getting everything all in one package and making it work, and then the signal's out kind of in the fairing, yeah. and they're easily visible for everybody that you're trying to let know. Yeah. And I think they did a really nice job with that. Yeah, so it's it looks fast standing still. Then you had the joy of being able to fire it up. We're talking about 197 horsepower, 101 foot-pounds of torque. You fired it up. What did you think of that motor? Smooth was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. Uh, smooth. It sits there, it's quiet. We got out on the road and it just smooth power delivery. You'd expect it to be really wild when you hear it's supercharged. It yeah. really isn't. It's nice linear power. Right. So there was no real kind of lag or hit or, or anything, right? It just all works. Yeah, none at all. They've done a perfect job getting everything to just flow. If somebody didn't tell you it was supercharged, you think it was just a lot bigger displacement than it already is. Right. It's got no shortage of power. There's no concern with that, uh, but it, it delivers it very well. The factory exhaust is a little quiet for my personal preference, but overall it's still got a great tone. What did you think of the braking system? I mean, those Brembos, I think, are like the very best top of the line system that you can get off the rack. What did you think? Uh, yeah, they did a great job with their those new Brembo calipers. Uh, the whole system works together. And on the SE Plus, it's also got the braided stainless lines from the factory. Right. And it just, there's no spongy feeling to the brakes at all. It's just, it's right there, but it's not harsh. It, it's a nice, smooth, engagement much like the, the power delivery it's very linear on the brakes as well yep what did you think of the uh, the shifting the oem quick shifter is very nice on it i like that so you don't have to clutch your upshifts at all and you don't have to let off the throttle it's probably the smoothest transmission i've felt to date there's you almost don't feel a shift mm -hmm. smooth as can be uh brings me to the thought of the electronic suspension everything is controlled now within the the uh ECM, what did you think of the uh, the suspension system? Well, that brings me back to the brakes for a quick second because the thing I noticed the most is when you get on the brakes, uh, if you apply them a little bit harder, just checking out how they're working and everything, the bike doesn't dive. Mm -hmm. the, the front forks pick that up immediately, it stiffens up and the bike just stays level and it allows it to brake very, very quickly but smooth. Right. Um, as far as bumps go, I tried it in all three modes, the rain mode, the, the road mode, and the sport mode. And the road mode was about the, the right balance, I think. Uh, it was super, super smooth, soaking up all the bumps that we ran across, the potholes and stuff. And it just, it, you hardly even feel them. It doesn't give you any uneasy feeling in the steering. It's just very, very true to its line. Who are we gonna recommend this bike to? I would recommend it to somebody that's looking for a weekend warrior kind of thing, something that's a lot of fun, but they can still put their wife on the back or, or whoever on the back, and they can, they can take it for a long tour. They could, you could ride it three hours to somewhere, no issue. But it's also got enough fun. It's got sport mode. It's got the power. It's got a, a very good sized back tire on it. And you could go out and keep up with your buddies in the twisties on this thing, no problem you get up to speed faster than you think you would and you don't notice because the suspension takes up the bumps so well, the power delivery is so linear and thankfully you've got a big speedometer to tell you how much too fast you're going. Smooth. Yeah. Fast. Smooth. And I like that term, how much too fast you're going. <laughs> Good job, Tyler. Thank you, Dave. That's great.